let's test out the PML. Let's make I max equal to 160 so that we have some room for the waveguide modes to be set up. Then it takes about I max times delta divided by C. So when we take I max and we multiply times delta, we're going to get units of meters. And then if we divide by C, meters per second, we're going to end up with seconds. And then if we divide by dt, we'll get number of time steps. So our 252 time steps. So it's going to take about 252 time steps for the wave to reach the edge of the grid, the right edge of the grid from our transmitter. Of course, we also need to account for any waves that will be reflected from the ionosphere. And then it also takes extra time for the sinusoidal steady state to be fully established everywhere in the grid. So putting all this together, let's make nmax equal to 2,000 time steps. That will give us plenty of time for everything to be established. Let's put an observation point on an EZ component just above the ground, 10 cells, before the start of the PML. So if this is our diagram, here's our transmitter, here is, say, the PML, then let's put an observation point right here. And it's 10 cells from the PML, so this is going to be 10 cells. So we can say EZ OBS, serve for observation. We're going to store it over every time step so that we can test how well the PML. We're going to look at if there are any reflections that are arising here from the PML, and we can see them at the observation point. So we're going to say this observation point is equal to the EZ component at, let's see, if this is 160, PML is at 150, and since this is 10 cells, this will be at 140. To test the PML, we can compare what we get at this location relative to a very large grid where we don't see any reflections from the right side of the grid. So go ahead and save your output for this smaller run where IMAX is just equal to 160 so that we can run the code a second time to represent the larger grid and then we'll use the output from both models to create an error plot. So make sure you include save easy ops into an easy ops.dat file or similar easy ops and ascii go ahead and run your code for this smaller grid imax is 160 nmax is 2000 and we'll look at our results before we move to running the larger grid